Hi guys, in this video I'll be showing you a very misleading sequence and I will give a brief explanation of what's going on behind the scenes. Now I learned about this sequence in a class at my math camp and I just found it so interesting that I wanted to make a video about it because it's very cool. Also I just want to say thank you so much for 200 subscribers. I was not at all expecting it. It was amazing. Uh, we, we smashed that 100 subscriber goal that I think I made in the last video and I'm just really grateful. Thank you so much. So let's get started. So we're just going to start out by looking at some really cool integrals. Um, and our first integral is the integral from 0 to infinity of sine of x over x. Now, this is equal to exactly pi over 2. Uh, and, and that's pretty cool because I don't think that it has an antiderivative that you can easily represent. But it turns out there's some tricks you can do and you can calculate it and it is pi over 2. Our next integral is from 0 to infinity still. All our integrals are going to be from 0 to infinity of sine of x over x times sine of x over 3 over x over 3. And so we've just added another term. And this one is also equal to exactly pi over 2. And we can just keep going with this pattern, adding odd numbers. So the, the same for sine of x over x times sine of x over 3 over x over 3 times sine of x over 5 over x over 5. And then we had a 7 term and a 9, 11, etc. And these keep on being equal to pi over 2, exactly equal to pi over 2. But this only works until we get to 15. Up until 15 at 13, it works perfectly. It's exactly equal to pi over 2. But if you take the integral from 0 to infinity of sine of x over x, sine of x over 3 over x over 3, all the way up to sine of x over 15 over x over 15, this integral is not equal to pi over 2. It is equal to around pi over 2 times 0 0.999999999985. So why is this? Well, it turns out that we can represent the integrals in the sequence in terms of something called a convolution evaluated at 0. Now for our first integral, sine of x over x, the convolution is equal to pi over 2 for all numbers in the interval between negative 1 and 1. And so if we evaluate at 0, we'll get pi over 2. But each time we add another term, the outer edges of our convolution decrease slightly. In general, if we are multiplying by sine of x over n over x over n for some n, then the size of the interval where our convolution is equal to pi over 2 will actually decrease by 1 over n on both sides. So for our next integral, where we are multiplying by sine of x over 3 over x over 3, our interval will decrease by 1 third on each side, and so our new interval is equal to negative 2 thirds to 2 thirds. Next, when we multiply by sine of x over 5 over x over 5, our interval where it is equal to exactly pi over 2 will decrease by another fifth. And we can continue this pattern all the way up to the term sine of x over 13 over x over 13, since 1 third plus 1 fifth all the way up to plus 1 thirteenth is actually slightly less than 1, meaning that our interval where our convolution is equal to pi over 2 has not been completely eroded away. And so when we evaluate it at 0, we still get precisely pi over 2. But if we add that final term sine of x over 15 over x over 15, everything changes. 1 third plus 1 fifth all the way up to 1 15th is actually a little bit more than 1. So our interval has been completely eroded away. Therefore, it is no longer equal to exactly pi over 2 at 0. And in fact, it's equal to a very small amount less than pi over 2. And so therefore, the integral from 0 to infinity of sine of x over x times sine of x over 3 over x over 3 all the way up to sine of x over 15 over x over 15 is not actually quite pi over 2. Now this is pretty cool, and a natural question is, are there variations of this that are even crazier and that take even more steps until they're not equal to exactly pi over 2? And it turns out there are. In particular, if we start out with a 2 times cosine x, then it turns out that you have to wait for your sum to get to 2 instead of 1 before you see the behavior where it drops slightly from pi over 2. And this first happens at 1 third plus 1 fifth plus 1 seventh all the way up to plus 1 113th. And so the integral of 2 times cosine x times sine of x over 3 over x over 3, sine of x over 5 over x over 5, etc., all the way up to sine of x over 113 over x over 113 is the first one that is not equal to exactly pi over 2. I find these integrals really amazing because of how counterintuitive they are, and I hope you were as pleasantly surprised at their behavior as I was when I found out about it. Thank you so much for watching. Bye!